No, don't do it like that. We want to throw the overcoat like this. I want to show you how to do it. So a few things what people do when they are throwing the overcoat. Like you're seeing there, I mean, that was exaggerating it, but people are loaded up. You don't want to load your overcoat up like this. Yeah, you might feel like Muhammad Ali or Sugar Ray Leonard, but we don't want to do that. You want to bring the overcoat from your face up and turn your hips and throw it up. You want to be going directly straight up because another common mistake I see would be people will come across. So with them two things right there, you know, not loading up the overcoat like this and not punching across over there will really help improve it. So when we're on the bag and we're doing this or the ball like this, what we want to do is get in our boxing stance position if we're throwing it, leading off for it, is we want to turn our hips and bring that up here. And as you're seeing there, because I turned my hips, I got power in the punch. And we want to get power in the punch if we're looking for a, you know, like a knockout blow. We can throw it lightly if we're looking for a, a setup shot, which I'll talk about in a sec. But when we're looking for a correct, solid, straight overcoat, we're here, turn the hips, boom, coming up. Now the end position, the hand wants to be in front of your face, right? And another thing to think about, if you're practicing this, you know, in, in the gym, look in the mirror, throw this, and then from there, put your arms straight. Now the finished position of overcoat should be the exact same position as a straight cross. I'm here, hips are turned, feet off the floor. We don't want to be leaning to the side, which is another common mistake I see, where you're like twisting your back, because if we do that, you're not going to get the power, but as well, it's harder to come back with another shot of its own. But if you do there, back heel off the ground, look, I'm in the perfect position to come with the perfect punch after that, which is the hook. So if I do it on the bag, it's a bah, bah. Now watch the feet, watch the hips when I'm throwing this, bah, bah, rotating into it. And that's why I get so much power. So when you are throwing the overcoat, think about them things. We don't want to, boom, come from your face, turn, finish position in front of your face there, not to the side. We want to have that back heel off the ground. And when you are throwing the overcoat, you want to transfer your weight to your front foot. Now, one more thing that you can do when you are doing this is dip. Mike Tyson did it. A dip and then push up. It's a bit slower, but you get even more power in it. Like that. Now, just focus on good form, good technique. And I guarantee you, after doing them a few things there, your overcoat will improve the next time you're in the gym. Click here and learn how to shadow box within three minutes. Click here and watch this next.